Welcome back to my channel for another tarot reading. If you're new here, my name is Jen and I help people find their passion, their purpose using techniques such as astrology, tarot, and intuitive coaching. So if you're interested in working with me or booking a personal reading, be sure to check the link in the description box. That will take you to my website. Also, I have a couple new things rolling out. I'm going to be offering a freebie pretty soon. I'm currently putting that together. It's going to be along the lines of a manifestation workbook. Um, also, I am also putting together a webinar series that I'm hoping to release at the end of the month, have the first part of the series at the end of the month. It's going to be all about learning how to read the tarot. So I'm hoping that a lot of you will join me. If that is something that you're interested in, be sure to either follow me on Instagram or follow me over on my website by entering in your email so that you can stay up to date for when these things are going to be rolling out and you can be sure to uh, be a part of it. So let's get into this reading. This song I got on Shuffle for you guys was Electricity by Dua Lipa. So what, what's giving you the electricity? Have we met somebody new, Virgo? Do we have some new love in the mix? I hope so because my Virgos, my Virgos need it. All right, so I feel like you're feeling very energetically charged just from that song alone. So let's pull some of these tarot cards. Um, I'm also going to be doing things a little bit differently as you're going to see the spread will be superimposed on to the reading, but I will also be showing you guys the, um, the, the uh, what's it called? The, oh my God, the clarifiers. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, all right, what is the advice for Virgo? We have admit your vulnerabilities. Mm. Have faith. Look, Virgo, I think that if you have not met somebody yet, you're going to be meeting somebody that um, the electricity I think is going to be that you're going to be feeling very emotionally charged towards this person and you know, they could feel the same towards you. So it's about giving in to that feeling. Speak up. I'm, I'm getting like an adrenaline rush type of feeling, you know, uh, whatever that is, whether it's romantic, whether it's business purposes. Um, but I'm getting this kind of adrenaline rush of like, I'm going to tell this person how I feel type of thing, or I'm going to be open and communicative with this person because I don't want to lose them. Um, and I want to be transparent and open. So let's see. I'm intrigued. Moonology cards. We have a time to give rather than take. Two more, please. Um, we have your commitment is being tested. This is your commitment to self, honestly, and your commitment to your faith. So it's like if you've been doing all this healing work, Virgo, and then you're presented with this person, um, are you going to self-sabotage? Are you going to be overly critical? Or are you going to be like, here I am, flaws and all? Um, so let's see. Balance spirituality and a practicality. That is like the plight of the Virgo, right? Because we are so logical, so practical. So I do feel like that is something that you have to incorporate that kind of surrender and spirituality into, into the mix. Um, all right, let's see. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords. Interesting. So I do think that there's some kind of energy around clarity, around bound, you setting these kind of mental boundaries, but also there is kind of this clarity that is coming towards you, I feel like, or this kind of, um, this kind of, yeah, clarity. Either you're providing it or you're having the you're having some kind of mental clarity at this moment so we have as the overall energy here we have the two of swords um the overall energy of the reading two of swords so this talks sometimes about looking within for the answers this can also talk about you know um blocking out the answers so let's get a clarifier as to why this two of swords is on the table we have the six of pentacles. Interesting. So there could be something unexpected. 
did. But Six of Pentacles, especially here, this to me is like this energy of like reciprocation, um, especially in this deck. It's like, um, hmm. I like to look at the cards to get like new vibes. It's this energy of, you know, give and take really, uh, but there's like an offer on the table, I feel like. And, and with this two of swords, it could be that you are um, either blocking it out a little bit out of like a personal fear or out of feeling like it's not practical, it's not logical. Um, but I do think it's actually a, a really strong energy of balance coming in here or some kind of offer, some kind of support. Uh, the Six of Pentacles can talk about, you know, inheritance that comes in or like an unexpected offer type of energy. Um, unexpected support could be charity, could be like just unexpected abundance. So um, here in this first row, we have the Ten of Cups, we have the Two of Wands, and we have the Hangman in reverse. So there's some kind of energy of forward movement. I feel like you could be in this state of emotional fulfillment, but I do feel like this could also be this kind of soulmate energy that's coming towards you. It's almost like this person might have been in like a period of waiting, but it seems like there's somebody here who's really not waiting anymore. Um, and there's some kind of movement happening here. And this could be that unexpectedness that comes in for you. So let's get a clarifier for this 10 of cups here. We have the magician. So if you've been actively manifesting your soulmate, your 10 of cups, your emotional fulfillment, Virgo, it's here. Um, it's arriving. So this is the, this is the commitment being tested because it's like when it arrives, are you going to self-sabotage? Are you going to be like, oh wait, I'm not ready. Like, no, you've been manifesting this. If it's showed up, that means you're ready. <laughs> and I do feel like there, it's showing up. Like the, this is moving past like an energy of, uh, yeah, it's showing up Virgo. Let's see, okay, the hangman here. Um, we have the empress, the empress. I feel like this person is, moving towards you there is this kind of um nurturing energy here of of, of knowing of um gosh three this is like that three energy it's a really it's a really strong um energy of growth here and I feel like this person's making this move towards you they could see you as this empress energy um, or they could be in this ener empress energy of wanting to kind of birth something new, wanting to create something new here. Um, four of Cups. Why is this Four of Cups here? In the second row, we have the Four of Cups, the Chariot card, and the Page of Cups. I do feel like there's this person who's offering, um, offering up a cup of love here, uh, sending like a sweet message. Um, the Chariot card, this could be travel. Uh, I mean, the three mutual card energies are travel cards. Um, just going to put that out there with this two of wands, the chariot and the eight of wands. Uh, it looks like the, there's some kind of travel. So this could be a long distance connection. Um, but this chariot card, again, it's like this movement towards there's this energy of movement, especially with that two of wands of like taking action, making moves. Um, with this page of cups, this person is offering, like this is like a sweet message that comes in, a love letter, maybe for Valentine's Day, they're sending you something. But with this four of cups here, I don't know Virgo, why you're in this kind of feeling of um, feeling trapped, feeling very emotional. And I feel like because of that, you're, you're a little bit blocked. So let's see, why is this four of cups coming up for Virgo? Oh my goodness. Yeah. You're having a lot of emotions right now. <laughs> it's like emotional spillage, but you're trying not to spill, which is why your, why that, um, admit your vulnerabilities is coming out. Three of cups, like, it's finding that healthy expression, finding that healthy expression. And especially with this person, because I do think that this person is going to offer you up some kind of emotions. The, the pile that came out was too, too much. 
This person's going to offer you some kind of emotions and, and your, your lesson here is going to be about expressing yourself, learning to express yourself versus keeping it bottled up, learning to express your, your truth and your emotions, um, in a healthy manner, um, versus, versus keeping it bottled up and pretending like I'm perfect. I'm okay. Like, no, I'm, I, I, I don't get emotional. I don't, I'm perfect. I'm Virgo. Um, and kind of being open and honest and being like, you know, I've had a hard time in the past. So I, I'm learning, I'm growing. I, I really like you and I want to, I want to display my emotions. Um, because I do think that this person's actually going to kind of open that door. So let's see what this page of cups is doing here. Clarifier here. Oh, okay. We've got the death card and the devil. Um, Hmm. All right. So, oops. Um, <laughs> this could be death to like any karmic, karmic energy here. Death to codependency. Um, this person offering this this kind of page of cups here. Uh, this person I think has recently gone through some rebirth. I think that they are they have ended some toxicity in their life. Um, huh, let's see. I also feel like this person has been through some interesting scenarios in life. That is why they move so fast. That is why they're so open and vulnerable because I think that you have a lot to learn from this person in terms of um, openness to life. But also, you know, um, I'm not sure, you know, I hate bringing up the, like, uh, there's nothing here insinuating that this might be a past person, but it could be. Um, but I do think that this person is somebody who lives at a distance from you. And there's some kind of risk factor involved for you, but there is this feeling of, um, instead of like, instead of withholding, like spirits really guiding you to like, let things flow. So let's pull some clarifiers. We have the moon here. We have the eight of wands and we have the nine of pentacles. I feel like this person is actually very stable and that's kind of what you learn from them. Like this person's going to be more emotional than you're used to. Um, this person has like an emotional side and they're going to be very open with their emotions, which might be, you know, what invites you to be more emotional and get into your feels. But in reality, it's because this person is very stable. They're very independent. Um, and it's because of something that they've had to overcome in their lifetime. So let's get a clarifier for this moon card. We have the page of wands. Um, so I do think that this is, there's some kind of element to this connection. There's some kind of adrenaline rush here. I, I swear either this person's an adrenaline junkie. Um, and that might be where you're like, at least I know as a Virgo, like, uh, you know, I look for my adrenaline in certain ways. I do have like that Sagittarius in me. Um, but when it comes to like roller coasters or jumping out of planes, no thank you. Like I'll take my perfect little Virgo um, vanilla life. Uh, you know, I, I'll, I'll mix in the, the other exciting shit where, where I feel safe. Um, but I think that this is like this energy. This person could be kind of an adrenaline junkie or there's some kind of adventure here. There's some kind of adventure in the mix with this connection, whether this person lives long distance and you kind of have to communicate on that long distance level. <laughs> but, but there is like with this page of wands and the moon card energy, there's kind of this energy of like, uh, diving into the unknown, diving into the unknown. And it could be this unknown territory of feelings and emotions. Um, nine of pentacles but this person provides you with like a solid stable stable foundation um this person is solid and stable but there's something about them that's kind of this like adventurous type of energy so let's see nine of pentacles give me a clarifier um nine of pentacles the two of pentacles in reverse so there's something 
there's something about this person that is stable but at the same time like not stable um like maybe they don't have like a solid home maybe they bounce around or something because the two of pentacles in reverse it's like this person could take on new opportunities all the time um let's get one more what is this energy here the ten of wands so i do think that this person lives a fast life like this person um sometimes might take on more than they can chew like they like to do it all at once but like i said there's some kind of experience that this person went through in their lifetime that um is why they're like that and it could be you know maybe they had a near-death experience maybe they overcame something um and and they just have a different perspective when it comes to living life um and when it comes to explaining their emotions i do think that whoever this person is for you um they're going to really bring some kind of adrenaline factor into your life uh, so I'm really interested in that. And, and I think that your hesitation, Virgo, is going to be, oh shit, like this is not comfortable for me. Like my logical Virgo brain does not, does not like <laughs> this chaos. Uh, so that's kind of the vibe that I'm picking up on. But I mean, it, it might be fun. It, you're going to feel the electricity. So in the extended, let's look into more details on who this person is we'll pull some archetype cards see what we get there um we're gonna pull some more from the tarot let's pull some heart to heart messages and then let's pull some from the sexual tarot so we can find out who this adrenaline junkie is all right virgo if you're interested in that i will see you over in the extended bye mm -hmm.